So in this video, I'm going to talk about fibrous connective tissue, but more specifically, the different types of fibrous connective tissue. And so fibrous connective tissue is broken down into loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. And loose connective tissue is what we're going to talk about today. And loose connective tissue is actually broken down into two different categories that we're going to talk about. But first, let's get essentially a background on loose connective tissue. So loose connective tissue is pretty much just a fibrous connective tissue that has more ground substance between the cells. And loose connective tissue is then divided into two types. There's areolar and reticular. So first let's talk about areolar connective tissue. And so areolar tissue has fibers that are loosely organized and they have a lot of blood vessels. Another really important thing is that it's found in pretty much your whole body. So it's found in tissue sections from almost every part of the body. And so you can imagine how it might be important to learn about this tissue. Additionally, every epithelium rests on top of areolar tissue, or nearly every epithelium. So areolar tissue is under pretty much all of the epithelium. And since the areolar tissue has a lot of blood vessels, it can provide nutrition to the epithelium and remove the waste from the epithelium. In addition to providing blood, lots of white blood cells can move in and out of areolar tissue to check for infection and make sure everything is okay in your body. Finally, this areolar tissue seems to have a lot of seemingly empty space. But the main thing you need to take from areolar tissue is that it's highly vascular, vascularized, which means it has a lot of blood vessels. That's really important. So next, let's compare it to reticular tissue. So reticular tissue isn't as detailed as areolar tissue, but reticular tissue is essentially just um. It forms a mesh-like structure, and the mesh is consisted of reticular fibers and fibroblasts. And also, it's critical for forming the framework in some organs, such as your lymph nodes, your spleen, and your bone marrow. Those will all have reticular tissue. And that pretty much sums it up for loose connective tissue. Um, if I were to guess, I would say that you should know areolar tissue more, and that would be more likely to be on your tests. And so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.